Thanks so much for sparing Gabe. I know he's really quite killable, which is why I had to augment him. But you needed none of that. You're quite elusive, or fleet-footed, more so than our old mailman. He didn't get far before Gabe caught him. What? Why, yes, it is. I used to leave it outside his doghouse, chock full of cans, before the cybernetic modifications, of course. And no matter how cammed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even, even while I, I... You know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. I can't quite pin it down. Why, yes, Gabe. No matter how awful my day had been, he... he was always waiting there. How odd. My gel is decoagulating. And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus would beat on me and call me smarty sissy pants, he'd just sit there, head on my knee, and... If you don't mind, I'll take that ball. Just need to remove it. Put it away, somewhere out of radar range. For some reason, its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive spaces. That, combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. As odd as it is, I believe that is the conclusion. And I wonder why it didn't hit me before, until I saw that memory in your hands. This sensation is unpleasant. I don't care for it. I don't care for this place either. And I feel as if we've forgotten something. Still, it is no matter. Crush the feeling down. Crush it down. Push it into the loop. The... Hmm. Yes. Forgotten. Almost. Yes? I do not need to remember any more. Not today. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us.